Hey guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys. So if you found this video on my YouTube channel, it's unlisted initially, so I'm not sure how you found it, but if you did, at least initially, it is out there for patrons only. At some point, I may make it public on YouTube. I'm not sure when exactly that'll be, so maybe you found it because of that. Um, we are doing a painting challenge. Uh, I hope I can keep up with it, but we'll see. But I'm going to do 30 paintings in 30 days, little paintings, two to a page. I'm going to for sure fill, end up filling up this sketchbook and then starting a new one, but that's okay. I've got plenty of them. Um, so this is the first one that we did. So now I'm going to do a second one. And I, what am I going to do? I don't know. I don't have a plan. <laughs> I have no plan. So we're going to use the um, muted um, and um, basics watercolor gouache palette that we have here. These are M. Graham paints. Um, the five on the left, the yellow, red, blue, white, and black were the originals that came in the set of watercolor gouache. And these six colors were custom ones that I mixed up, um, muted, muted tones. Um, and I do have a video on that, which I will link in the description below so that you can see how I did that. Um, we are going to do a painting. I don't know, again, no idea what we're going to do. Um, we do, may do another sky scene, but I, I, I don't know. So let's get to painting and I'll be back. Okay, I th think because we have 30 of these to do in 30 days, we need to not overthink it. And we need to keep it fairly simple. So I think on this side, we're going to do a simpler um, flower painting, sort of sunflower-esque, hopefully. Hopefully it ends up turning out like a sunflower. We'll see. So I'm going to take my muted yellow initially and do some petal shapes. As with the other painting, I am not working with a reference photo. Um, I may at some point, I don't know, but at least to start with, I'm not working with reference photos. And this is a watercolor gouache again, which um, is a water soluble paint, but it's a water soluble paint that's um, more opaque than your traditional watercolors. They do make an acrylic gouache, which is not reconstitutable with water. This is. Okay, so that's a good start. So we're gonna give it a dry. Okay. And I'm just using a simple uh, round brush. This is an Escada um, number eight round. Escoda, maybe it's Escoda. I don't know. I'm gonna take the um, brighter yellow and add some highlights. Because gouache is more opaque than your traditional watercolor, you can do this. Um, the base color may show through a little bit, but with traditional watercolor, you need to leave your white spaces or light spaces light. Um, it's really hard to go over them because the color is transparent and it'll blend. You don't have to, you don't have as much of that with the gouache. It does a little bit, but not as much. So I'm gonna, while it's still wet, I'm gonna take some white. Because things are wet, you can see that that's blending. It's fine. Just working on giving the um, petals some dimension. I did, as you see, like with the first video, we've got the page um, edges taped off so we get a nice little square rectangle of painting. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back and just with a damp brush, sort of push color around a little bit. I'm usually in favor of drying things with a heat embossing tool in between layers. You can, of course, leave it to dry naturally. 
You can also work on another area of the painting while that's drying sort of thing. I'm usually in too bit, way big of a hurry for that. So I grab my heat embossing tool. Okay, so we're gonna stay with the round brush for a little bit and we're gonna start with the flower center. I'm gonna start with the blue. And then I'm gonna go in with some of this purplish gray color that's on my palette here that was uh, mixed up from this, doing this painting. Which there's not a, a lot on here, but we're gonna, we're using up what's on there rather than throw it away. I'm gonna go into the purple that's on the, over here, there we go. Okay, we'll let that sit for just a second and we're gonna go in with some of the green out here. I usually like to do my backgrounds first or background colors first and then go in later with a foreground color, which would include the green, but yeah, I didn't. I'm gonna lift up some of the color with a wet paintbrush just to give us a variety of tone here. I'm gonna go in with some of the little bit of brown color here. It'll mix a little bit with this green and again, give us some varying tones of color. I'm really enjoying working with this muted color palette and I will link it in the video description um, how I mix the colors up, but yeah, it's, I'm really liking it a lot. So I'm just very carefully painting around the petals so I don't lose too much of the petal shapes that I made. But I'm just wanting to hint it at green and foliage around the background of the flower. Again, we're gonna go in with just like a damp brush and just pick up some of that green. And then add in a little bit of brown. Now we're gonna give this all a dry. Okay, I didn't dry it completely, but that's pretty good. I'm gonna go in with one of my medium, a little bit smaller round brush. We're gonna take some of this brown. We're gonna take some of the black. Mix it with what's on here. Get sort of a muted dark tone and we're gonna go around the edges. Sorry about the construction noise in the background. One of my neighbors is working on his house and they always choose the most inconvenient time to start drilling or hammering or sawing or something. Hopefully you won't hear too much of it. I don't know at the moment. 
until I get into the editor, but just blending the initial line a little bit. I got some little paint right here, which I don't want, so I'm gonna go in with a damp brush, and there we go, lift it. Okay, now, like with the petals, I'm gonna go with, in with some white. Some of the paint is still wet, so it's gonna blend, and I'm gonna go in with a damp brush anyway, and I'm gonna just tap on where I put that white paint and just sort of blend it in a little bit, but not completely. Just like that. Oh, that's cute, I like that. I don't wanna do anything else to it. Okay, let me dry it and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to lift up our tape. And there we go. Here's painting number two of 30 paintings in 30 days. Am I gonna be able to do it? I have no idea, but we're gonna try. All right, that's it for How today. Was that for today's painting. I hope you enjoyed the process. And um, if you want instruction on the painting, you need to be over on Patreon. They are gonna get the talking version here on YouTube. You're just gonna get the speed fruit through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.